I often meet founders who are very smart and they work hard, but hate sales. And as a result, they fail at it miserably. This might be because of negative experiences most of us have had as buyers. Think about it. Have you regretted a purchase when a salesperson pushed you to buy something? Do you want to buy this car one? Yeah, yeah, nay. Well, I don't know. We have to think about it. Yeah. What's there to think about? I mean, you told me you liked it. You asked me 10,000 questions. I answered every single one of them. You drove it. You love it. If you haven't been on the sales side of the sales equation, I want to let you know that sales doesn't have to be this sad. You don't have to exploit anyone to sell. It's estimated that 68% of founders in the US don't have any prior sales experience. Many come from roles that did not involve sales or they're technical geeks who have actively avoided the sales department like the plague. Sales work is necessary. And in the early stages of your startup, you will be the one responsible for sales and pretty much everything else. So you have to find a way to overcome that reluctance. I want you to succeed in your venture. I really want you to succeed. And if you're shying away from sales, you must change that mindset. Sales is not a dirty word. Real salesmanship is about providing real value. As Brian Tracy famously said, your job is not to sell, but to help customers solve their problems. It's all about understanding the lead's pain points, their wants, their desires, and then matching those with good solutions. Let me walk you through an example. But before I do, if you're finding these tips helpful, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment with questions you have. I publish weekly videos basically answering questions that founders like you are asking for. Let's say that Ben and Bonnie are struggling to finance a college education for their two children. They speak with two different financial advisors, Laura and Lisa. Laura seems a bit robotic and pretty aggressive. She speaks less about college funding and more about a retirement annuity she's eager to sell. Lisa, on the other hand, she comes prepared with thoughtful questions, listens carefully, and does some more research. She promptly gets back to Ben and Bonnie with two viable approaches for college funding and some opportunities about scholarships they never thought of. Who do you think Ben and Bonnie will choose? Who do you think Ben and Bonnie will refer their friends to? And who will they go to in the future when they have additional financial needs? So when you're doing sales, don't just talk about the bells and whistles that you think are cool or important. Show your leads that you understand what's important to them. Impress them with your domain knowledge and expertise and make sure that they understand how your service can solve their problem. They'll appreciate the chance to speak with you and they'll be much more likely to buy from you. The type of sales I want you to practice is positive, empathetic, and a win-win relationship builder. If you want to learn more about sales, subscribe to this channel and check out our full take on the sales funnel. See you next time.